Hey there, I'm Ugu from Tech Corner TV and you are watching another mailbag day. Okay, let's start with the opening. Uh, let me move this out of the way and start with this one. Well, this, these are some of the package that uh, I bought on the 11.11 uh, sale on AliExpress and on Black Friday too. There is st still a lot to come, but yeah. On a side note, I did order a lot of uh, items for the studio equipment, a uh, lot of studio equipment it items. And if you are wondering why, uh, that is because I have, other than this channel, another five more channels and I'm always uh, in need of studio e equipment for some reason. Okay, so what I have here are some dimmers. I bought these dimmers to some floodlights I have. Uh, I bought, let me show you. I bought this floodlight, this one is blue. They are very cheap. Two of these units cost about $6, $8, I don't know exactly. But they are sold in two units. Uh, but they don't have, well, anything other than these terminals to connect. So I decided to buy this to be able to to control the, the, the brightness of the lights. And this one is just a on and off switch for the other kit of lights I bought. Those are RGB and they come with a, a, a remote that can control the intensity of the brightness but uh, I still need some power connectors to, to connect it and so I decided to buy this. As I told you, those are sold in kits of two, 10, 12 euros as I believe the RGB models are a little bit more expensive but not much and each of these kits comes with a remote to control it and yeah i decided to buy this to to control all of this i will i will put this one working to see how it works in a minute okay i have it here already uh, right now is turned off let me just power it on yeah uh, we can give some different levels of brightness. This is not very sensible. It will change very fast from one point to the other. Uh, but I don't know if those LEDs are also prepared for that. Anyway, it seems to work. It was not very expensive. Yeah, it does the job. Okay, let's open now one small package and see what's what's in there. Okay, very nice. I bought this. I think that is missing. Ah oh, no, it's here. Well, these are those are uh, these are silicon. Let me show it high temperature silicon pacers, adapters, uh, well, this is for 3D printers, but I want to use this on this device. This is a hot plate, but it, it goes up to 260 degrees, more or less, it's 400 watts hot plate. And yeah, well, I have on the way, it's, it was one of my purchases of uh, Black Friday and 11.11 and everything else was a hot plate from Mechanic. But anyway, I had this for a long time. I want to do a do-it-yourself project. The problem with this is that they have the, this, well, I don't know, this fit that, that are magnetic. They stick to the metal. But the problem is, where, whenever uh, the places where you put this on, normally will get so hot. For for example, I have a silicon uh, mat for electronics. 
that was so hot it it uh, creates a, a bubble in it uh, when I was working with another one of these hot plates. So my idea is to create some kind of isolation between the hot plate and uh, well whatever is below. I bought those that think I it. it I think those are 16 millimeters and I have a bigger ones if I can open the package okay I have these ones uh, that are 18 millimeters so I will try to use this uh, as fit for this device to see if they can stand the temperature uh, if not try to use some washers uh, ceramic washers or something like that and create a small project for a do-it-yourself hot plate let's see how that goes I have already uh, everything I need so only missing the time let's see if I can get this done uh, still this year okay so the next one is also a small one I have to speed up because I have a lot of stuff to open let me see what we have here and yeah so in here I have some USB type C adapters for motherboards for board mounting nothing too fancy let's move on and let's for some projects I want to do. One of them is that one that I already told you. Uh, this is a tap faucet uh, special key to change. Uh, I need to change at home uh, one of my taps. So this key is very important or very useful to because it's long and you can take the, the screw be, behind the tap and replace it uh, without much effort so this is for me uh, at home to use at home okay let me just continue as i told you i have to move on okay i have here <clears throat> this is quite trivial also well this is just a converter a converter from three three eighths to quarter inch uh, screw this is 3h nut to quarter inch screw yeah so that's it and moving on the small ones are almost finished let's see what I have ah. okay those are never too much I ordered I think about 50 of these strips I also use a lot, uh, I don't have it here, but I, I use a lot, a roll that comes and you cut to the size, the these strips for cable managing, managing. but those have this little or, uh, opening that will allow you to do like this and are much better for cables, for example, to, to wrap cables uh, like these ones I just show you and yeah let me take this out of the way and yeah I ordered 50 of this it has colors this is mainly for cable uh, you put it like this and you are able to uh, secure the cables in a very nice way this was like two heroes the 50 it's not uh, expensive so yeah Moving on, I have a lot, and I mean a lot, uh, of breadboards, but mine, uh, by option, when I bought, uh, bought them, uh, they were almost semi-transparent. They were, well, this one is it's white, it's opaque, and the other ones are transparent. And with age, it, it turned out to be harder to see when you are trying to put the 
the wires on the, the holes on the transparent ones. This one makes better con con contrasts. So I decided to order four more for my for my equipment and for my projects. Goes away. Moving on. I don't know what this is or do I? Ah, I think I know. Let me open. This is something I was trying to buy for some quite time. There are ones in, in red, big ones, but uh, a little more expensive. This is a, a power ACP, uh, sorry, AC power regulator. Uh, let me show you from the top. Uh, we have a universal uh, socket power on and off and we can regulate the power in here up to 220 volts that's the power that I have here in Portugal okay the next one is this let's see what we have here ah, okay I don't know if I have batteries for this I bought two of these chip uh, rotating displays let's see if they have power first uh, uh, it takes batteries and it probably works also with USB okay I went to get uh, a power supply a USB power supply. This one is from Raspberry. Let me just connect it here. It's connected and the idea behind this is like this. You put something in it. Uh, maybe we have to center it better. And let me show you. Yeah. And we can, I believe, speed this up also. The buttons are quite small. Yeah. And it has several functions. I don't know what this one is. I would like to see this rotating faster. But anyway, that's the idea. I have two. They are different. Uh, I don't know why. Even the cable. This one is thicker than this. Uh, it seems a much better quality than this one. And bigger also. I don't know why. They are exactly the same model. Okay. This one, I know also what this is. This is from Endoware, studio equipment again. And I have several magic arms, uh, but I needed something a little bigger for some cases. In, the, in here we have, uh, well, a pretty good support for your desk and also it comes with a, a ball head and what we have here is this arm it's like an um, extensible arm that you can use it well in this size this is this was about uh, I don't know if this let me see what happens when I take this out. Uh, it's just a screw to connect here. You can use it this also with an adapter. Yeah. And in the end you have the normal quarter inch uh, screw and also a delight adapter. So this is an extension arm, 
uh, it will be very useful for recording uh, over stuff on the workbench and using the microscope over the everything I have and yeah I was in need in, in something like this I can use it like this uh, using the support and yeah it's a nice addition well almost at the end I had a little issue with the space on the computer and the recording ended let me continue I already opened the last one uh, this is a uh, a backpack. Uh, my studio equi equipment and my camera stuff got really big and my previous backpack was, was, was small and I decided to buy a new one. This one has a very nice place for a laptop or a, I use a surface that can go in here. It's padded. Uh, I like it very much. It seems very nice quality. This backpack was about 26 euros. Uh, so for the normal of these backpacks uh, for photography was a, a nice price. And inside we have a closed zone. Where the, this is where I normally put the cam link and stuff that I cannot lose. We have also another area that can goes up down until down uh, it goes all the way to the to the bottom I would prefer to have here another bag but yeah another closed bag and we have a lot of space for camera and stuff like that the usual dividers you can use it like this to divide the camera lenses and stuff like that. Yeah, very satisfied with this. This will be, I believe, one of my Christmas presents. So I hope that my kids are seeing this before Christmas. Anyway, I have to buy it in advance. And I also have here another uh, pocket. Yeah, it seems very nice. A place for bottle, the place to, to take the, the tripod. Yeah, nice addition. I'm satisfied with it. with it. Okay, that's it. I don't have any more package to open today. So if you saw anything that you think it might be useful to you, don't forget that you have the links on the description. If this video was useful to you, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to hit that bell so you can be the first one to be notified whenever I launch a new video. Stay safe. I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.